Hello. Okay, so this is my second time going through this because I was a dumb dumb and totally forgot what I rated some of these books. If you hear whining, it's my husky. So this is my September uh, reading wrap up, and as you can see, if you've at least watched my August wrap up, I've read a significantly amount less of a, of books. But to be fair, the other books were smaller than these. Um, but also, like, the Throne of Glass series really put me in a slump because I was having a hard time getting through the first two books, so. So, because I'm reading, I read Assassin's Blade first and then Throne of Glass, and it was just kind of, it chugged along at a very slow pace. Anyway, so I read the Flesh and Fire series, which is the sister series to, uh, the Blood Nash series. The fourth book will be in this month's, uh, wrap-up, which is October. So the first book I read was A Shadow in the Ember, um, and all these books are by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It is a romantic -y and it's really good, and it, if you don't like smut, I wouldn't honestly read any of these series, like any of these books, because they do have a lot of smut in them. But here's the thing, it's not like a Fifty Shades of Grey type smut, I mean it does go kind of into detail, but what I mean is like the plot is so good and so intricate that it really really balances out and it's an overall like she hits like all the points that you would want an author to hit in a romance scene so anyways i did try to read this once before and um i did have the wrong thought completely which is a really confusing thought i'm surprised that i had it and i was wondering why i was so confused and kind of pissed off um so this is not about the main romance well kind of is but not where as like what i thought it was so the way that the blood nash series ends it leaves on a cliffhanger and more books are coming out but it leaves you on a cliffhanger and it's a type of cliffhanger where i thought that the person that they were talking in here was the main female character and that's why i was so confused and i did i got like halfway through this book like not even halfway i got like a good like little i don't even remember anyways i dnf this series well Fast forward, um, my cousin and I were talking and she's like, what? And then she explained it and I'm like, oh, that would make so much more sense. I will have to reread it. And so I obviously didn't reread it right away. I went to the Agadar series, which I do not regret. And then I went into the Thorn Grass Glass series and I needed a break. And then I'm like, okay, well, my mom is getting into the sister series. So why don't I get into the sister series, read it, and so we can both talk about it at the same time. So that's what I did. And I rated this a five star. It went from a DNF to a five star. Well, this one was a one star. So that just shows your perception on the book and like not going in with an, a thought already in your head, like a pretty heavy thought already in your head. But no, I really like this book. I'm gonna just, I'm just doing the ratings and talking maybe a little bit about them, but I love this book. It was good slow at first but it i mean it did pick up pretty fast but it, it was good uh next book i read was a light in the flame and um this one obviously like then another thing is it like you end one book and it literally like starts where you ended in the other book which i thought was really really nice so there wasn't any like waiting around to, to like get to where you wanted to be so it instantly jumped into where we ended in a shadow in the ember and i loved that <laughs> um so there wasn't really too much slowness to the book it was pretty good um and it was fast paced and there was a good amount of romance in it. Um, I did rate this one five stars. Now, mind you, I know I, I feel like I rate things so easily a five star, but also my five star rating is kind of like very big. I don't know. Like I have a separate category that no books can compare to these, and I will take no criticism 
on these books. Although, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't want to take any criticism on Akatar. Anyways, there's a whole separate tier, which is a six star tier, which there are a couple of books that are in that six star tier. Anyways, the last book I read was A Fire in the Flesh, and I started the fourth book, so uh, Born of Blood and Ash. I started that in um, September and ended it in October. But um, I really, really like this book. It is the smallest of all four books. The fourth book, I honestly think is the biggest. Um, I think it averaged almost 800 pages. I could be wrong. I believe it did or it was like really close no it was just over 700 it was like 715 or something like that anyways it was like the biggest out of all three of these so it took me a little longer to read but i still think i read it pretty fast but really really good um i did check this book out from the library like i read i read to a certain point and then i checked it out on the library to get it on my kindle and luckily there wasn't any holds and it was available and I was able to do that. Not the same for the rest of it. All the rest of them still have a hold on them. Because they're popular right now. As I'm dealing with with Throne of Glass, like I would really like to have the ebook versions of them too. To we'll just read at night. But they're all checked out and there's like a insane wait list to get the book and I'm like I'm already gonna be done reading by the time I get this book like I've already read like two other books since I put a hold on the fourth book to the sister series and there's still 60 people in line that's what's crazy and that's just for the ebook obviously um I do have all these books on audible uh so i could have listened to them on audible i i don't know i like audible but i really have to be in the mood or have to be doing something where i know i'm not going to get interrupted and have to keep pausing and then what i do because i switch from audible to book instead of having to find myself in mid-sentence i always try to stop at like the beginning of a chapter or the end of a chapter which would be the same thing as the beginning of a chapter but and then when I read physically, I try to end at a chapter. So if I wanted to go on an on an on the Audible, I could. Or if I wanted to, oh hiccups, go on my Kindle, I could. Because um, my Kindle and my Audible are interlinked, so I don't really have to worry about that per se. But I do have to worry about the physical book, which you would think is complicated, but it really isn't. If you like, anyways, um, I am back to reading the throne of glass series and let me just say after you get past the first two books it does pick up and is pretty good and like the end chunk of the first book the assassin blades book was good and it made me cry and if you read it you've read it um the throne of glass book the second half of the book was pretty good like it was still kind of slow and then it, it ended up picking up but it started picking up around the halfway point and usually I don't give a book that long, but I knew, I knew technically this is the first book. So you're getting a lot of world building. You're getting a lot of character building because technically Assassin's Blade was not out yet. And I read it, the Assassin's Blades first. So you got a lot of character building and a tiny bit of world building. So you got like two books in one. And I'm like, that's just a lot, a lot. <sighs> Anyways, I'm on the third book, which is like The Crown of Midnight so it's pretty good it is pretty good that is everything i am wearing pants by the way i'm just sitting weird um but i do have like a little bit of a short clip it was gonna be its own little video but i'm gonna add it with this one i went on a road trip um and i read a little bit so i'm gonna just add it to this because it's not long enough for its own vlog and it's too long for a TikTok. Actually, no, because TikTok it can be 10 minutes long. It's more editing to do if I put it on TikTok. 
will think about it. I might put a short clip on TikTok. I don't know. But uh, that is of me reading uh, A Crown of Midnight, which I didn't get very far in the car because it was too hot to read. And then that was when we were stopped and not like in motion because I can't read while somebody's driving. <sighs> I'm not blessed with that ability, sadly. Okay, well, um, enjoy the next few clips and I hope you enjoyed watching and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to Gato's Bookish Haven. Uh, by now, I'm hoping that I have these two channels kind of interlinked with my main, like, so this channel interlinked with my main channel. Also, you're gonna hear a lot of background noise because I'm having my car off. Um, while I wait, so there's a lot of background noise. Well, here, this might cut it a little bit. It's just I want it at least cracked so we can get some air in here. Um, so I'm not sitting in a hot ass car while trying to read. But um, I'm on a road trip, and so we stopped um, to, for Casey to have his interview, and then we're gonna be on our way to. Long Beach, Washington, and there's a secret little in there. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be posted before the road trip video will be posted because this is like all happening together. Um, but yeah, I I know I've been talking about like stop fucking staring. Jesus. Sorry. Creepy people. Um, so I know I've been talking about the Throne of Glass series and how hard it has been for me to get into it. And I think it's because Akatar is a lot different than Throne of Glass. At least for right now, like the beginnings of Throne of Glass and whatnot. But, and I put it on Goodreads because I fin finally finished the Throne of Glass book. Like, it took me from, like, August to, like, yesterday to finish it, which take, that's quite a long time for the size of that book. Usually, like, I can crack that out in a day and a half, which technically I did. I did crack it out in a day and a half because I restarted it because I literally was, like, reading it and stopped and it was so long before, like, of a difference that I, like, vaguely remembered the details of what was in that book, but... After I got past chapter 9, it picked up, it flowed nicely, and I got into it. So now, and I rated it about a 4 star because, like, the first book of a fantasy series, and technically that was the first book, like, Throne of Glass was the first book, and then Assassin's Blade came out after, and people just say to read it beforehand, which is what I did. I read Assassin's Blade before, so it was like, you got character development, and then into the next book you got world building slash character development, and you got to, like see some more of the characters and so it's like you got two books of just like all of that and I think that's what made it so difficult because instead of it just being like one book of just like going and going and going and like so much detail of just like things you don't really need to know but you do need to know so you're not confused with the in the rest of the series I don't even know how to explain this it's just like I'd rather not have two books of it. I'd rather just have one. But I get it. But right now I'm on the crown of midnight. Um, I will be reading this while he's in there. And then I might read here and there on our little trip while we're staying a couple of nights in a hotel down at Long Beach. I don't really know. I think we're going to be kind of running around and having a whole bunch of fun. So it might just be a little short clip of me reading short clip I say when it's literally gonna just be I don't even know but let us read oh look at this map it's a good map by the way I don't really I'm not good at like non-spoilers like I'll try my best but if I end up spo like spoiling things within this I will like make sure I put that on being like this has spoilers so nobody is coming into it and be like dude what the frick anyways Let's get into it.
okay so i've paused i'm on chapter three um but it is ridiculously hot in here and there's nothing that i can do other than turn the ac on but i honestly cannot focus well enough just telling me to put my seatbelt on anyways i cannot focus while literally blazing hot and I'm like, this is a really thin sweater, but it's still a sweater nonetheless. So I think I'm just going to have to pause. Oh, it looks like Casey is either going to be going back or he's about to walk out. Please walk out. <gasps> no, never mind. Okay, so I don't really know. But it's 11.52, and if they don't just, like, let him back and do the interview now, I'm going to be stuck here until 12.30 in this hot-ass car. And I'm not looking forward to that. I'm sorry. It's hot as hell, and I'm trying to save gas so we don't have to fill up super early. But we might end up having to fill up super early because I cannot handle the heat of this car. So I think I'm going to plug my phone back in and take a break from reading. Um... But I read a total of, it was Sarah J. Mass's book, it's, I've read a total of 16 pages. Um, so, I mean, not horrible, not great, you know, didn't really make a good dent. But, uh, yeah, it's hot, and so I'm going to let you go so I can blast the AC, because it is freaking scorching in this car, and I'd rather not get in, go into heat stroke, so. Peace! <laughs> We're gonna pick it up again and if there's no audio to this i will just do like a voiceover thing or i'll just make it a speedy thing but we're back i still have the everything on but i will either have like an hour of reading or i'll will be like just having to read close my book but chapter three